just to be clear this is a hollow shaft and hey you know that's okay i'm not hating on mud skipper that's not my goal to for these videos to hate on any company or trash talk any company they're just my personal experiences you know there's different conditions for people uh my water is full of sediment so i think that maybe explains why the wood bushings might have been, been eaten out i think sps has got a solid shaft jt gatoring was talking to me he's pretty much confirmed that jt gatoring knows what he's talking about and he's actually talked to him and plus there's weight differences just I think he was saying that an 85 inch shaft from SPS weighs 17 pounds uh, versus even a CLP that weighs 11. Mud skipper probably around the same weight. I don't know. Uh, I, I would have to weigh that. So I think definitely SPS uses completely solid shafts while SPS chooses to use these hollow shafts. Hey, that's okay. That's okay. It doesn't mean that they're, they're weak right i i just i'm surprised maybe it does create a little more vibration and wobbling but i don't know when you are dealing with really high sediment and it, these shafts not being sealed you're going to get that water and that grime in there and so it's going to get in those bushings even the polymer bushings from beaver dam i imagine you probably want to be running water through them you don't want to just be running them but or that you know by the way sps those were standard shafts where, where SPS uses the Tachyon wood. They actually have an option for bio bushings and for a sort of plastic or a sort of polymer bushings, internal bushings too. So they have that option just so if anybody wants to go the SPS route. Uh, I want to also mention, I don't want to get off here, but I just want to, I just don't want people to forget this here. I'm not trying to shit on any company here. I'm not trying to bad mouth or, or, t or talk about any company really what i'm trying to do is just promote companies maybe if the, i have a bad experience and it's a common thing maybe it maybe could get a company's attention and they might be able to improve upon the design for instance grade eight bolts i think it would be great if these guys i understand it comes from the manufacturer overseas and they ship them out they, they bring them to america uh, beaver dam sps mud skipper they they have them in their warehouse and they bring them out i think it'd be cool if they could just change them out with grade eight bolts that would dramatically improve these tie kits because there's a lot of vibration and that tends to be some issues with broken bolts i think it'd be a huge improvement on the industry i don't want to get off i just like i say i'm just trying to share my personal experiences possibly improve the industry and really just try to promote these things uh i'm not from the south people around here a lot of people still don't know about them i'm not trying to speak for everyone i just from my experience a lot of people don't know about them and they're interested they just don't know and i want people to be able to you know mud skippers are great kits for an affordable price and people have you know great experience with them other people's you know, have their own experience with them. I'm not, I, I'm not here to trash talk anybody. I think that people have had bad experiences with all these tie kits. People have had bad experiences with these American kits, these American mud motors. It just depends on what suits your needs. Um, I like these tie kits, even with their unsealed shafts, because they tend to be a little lighter than the Americans who, who have uh, shorter shafts, but sealed bearings and all that you know the americans are definitely more robust but i don't want to get off too far here these are just some of my experiences and and some of the information that i've i've come to find out and and some of my own personal experiences uh i do want to mention mud skipper does have a custom kit it's almost like a tie fusion so it's a light tie shaft but they have bearings inside of it it's sealed and it's called the custom kit. And I've heard a lot of good things about it. It comes with a three blade prop, but you can get a two blade adapter, which seems to give these twisters and these custom kits great improvements, you know, from going from a three blade prop to a two blade. It, uh, it just seems to work. Then you can put these tie, these tie props on there and they work good. They're aluminum, so. 
Uh, one of these days we're going to be talking about these debates about people trying to say these tie kits are not mud molders. I tend to disagree. They say these won't work in the mud. Maybe not as good as American mud molders, but to say these don't work in mud, I just I disagree. And there's videos of them. Go on a mud molder kit on YouTube. It's SPS Mud Runner. There's a, one of their latest videos of them going through straight mud. And then there's videos of people in Thailand and Vietnam going through mud. And, and there's also another video on that mud motor kit of them going through straight mud. And JT Gatorings went through some hard stuff. People have went through plenty of hard stuff. Beaver Dam goes through hard stuff. Mud Skipper, I've seen people go through really nasty stuff. So to say that these are not mud motors, I tend to disagree. There's also debates about who started these things. Uh, people in Thailand and Vietnam did not start these long tails. They actually, the first real long tail was uh, something called the, the Allen Salisbury, uh, Salisbury Allen. It was an electric motor, and it was, it was a long tail, the metal prop on it, and that started in 1892. That was completely electric, and that was the first long tail. And there was other long tails, shoot. The, the Germans were using them in, in World War II, uh, possibly World War One, for just you know, a, 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 an engine that can get you through the stuff. People have been using these long tails, these, these concepts. So, um, another thing, these, these long tails inherently are, they're reliable. They're robust. It's a long shaft attached to uh, directly to the crankshaft. So these debates about, or these talk about how these things are junk and all these are junk and one company is junk and better than the other. Yeah, that might be so that maybe something might be better quality, but to say these long tails are junk and act like they're going to break down at a moment's notice, inherently, it's a solid shaft. Well, then the, you know what I'm saying. Maybe this one isn't solid, but it's a shaft inside of a shaft, and it's attached directly to the crankshaft, and there's a prop on the end of it. There's not a lot to go wrong, so it's inherently robust. I just... uh Gosh, I really went off here on some things that I, I guess I'm sorry. I, maybe I'll post this. I want to. But just some things about these tie kits and Americans. There's more to come on this stuff, but I just wanted to, to, to talk about some of these things. And uh, next time, maybe it'll be a little more. Maybe it'll be on paper. It'll be, it'll be a script, and we'll get more into the meat and potatoes and, and the details of it. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoy Mud Motors Max. It's all self-funded. A lot of passion involved. Uh, I'm trying to gain more experience. I'm not an expert on this stuff. I'm not, you know, and, and I think some people realize that. I'm not going to sit here and act like it. I'm sorry if I come across that. I'm trying to learn as much as I can. Uh, my only goal is to just bring more attention to these mud motors from surface drives to long tails, even, you know, twisters that... I don't care what company. There's even Cup Wings that's come, you know, that's selling C CKS kits, and I just don't care. I want people outdoors, having fun, boating, just enjoying their lives. That's the goal with Mud Motors Max. And maybe I won't be doing this by myself. Maybe I'll have someone who will be along with me. And that's kind of what I wanted with this thing. I wanted to to try to get like-minded individuals together as well too, and maybe have a community of passionate people that can kind of lift each other up and enjoy the same thing. So if you guys are with me, hit that thumbs up, hit that bell icon, subscribe to Mud Motors Max. I'm just, that's what I'm trying to do here, folks. That's what I'm trying to do. I work three jobs to, to support my dream and what I like to do and, and my dog and my life. And I just, I, I love it too. And I wouldn't give it up for nothing. So <laughs> dirty and in hell just working on that stuff. It is what it is, but thank you for watching my videos, subscribing to my Motors Max, supporting me. I'd like to get a little more engagement, leave comments, even a nasty one. I don't care. Thumbs down, thumbs up. Just, you know, hit that bell icon. YouTube is a struggle to get traction, but I enjoy it. I don't do it for the money. I don't do it for nothing. I'm not making any money. I, I just, like I said, you know why I'm doing it. So thanks, folks. I'll until next time.